Hello people, this is Dr. Muskan this side and I am going to share one case history of the patient. Uh, it is all about AFI that is acute febrile illness. Here is 52 year old male who has came to ER with chief complaint of fever since 4 days, shortness of breath since 3 days, abdominal fullness since 3 days. HOPI patient was apparently well 4 days back when he developed fever, sudden on onset, continuous in character associated with chills relieved on taking medications patient also complains of dyspnea three days back which was sudden on onset gradually progressive from increasing grade of mmrc 0 to 4. patient also has complaint of abdominal distension since three days insidious on onset gradually progressive followed by pedal edema negative history there was no bleeding manifestation, there was no history of orthopnea or PND that is paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea which, through which we ruled out any heart disease or heart failure. There was no history of cough, cold, there was no history of chest pain, palpitations, there was no history of nausea, vomiting, there was no history of altered bowel habits. Past history, there were no comorbidities. Personal history, sleep habits were reduced appetite was reduced bowel and bladder habits were normal he was a um, bd smoker since 15 years so 15 into 1 pack years that means 15 pack years on examination decubitus was patient was lying comfortably on bed he was conscious and oriented to time place and person he is maintaining 99 percent spo2 on niv support bipap mode 70 percent fio2 and p46 vitals patient was hypertensive tachycardia tachypneic temperature uh, was 99.5 degree Fahrenheit suggested that he was febrile. Icterus and edema were present, parallel clubbing sinuses, um, lymphadenopathy and clubbing were absent. Systemic examination, CNS examination, conscious and oriented, CVS S1, S2 present, uh, respiratory examination, bilateral oriented present, perbdown examination, soft guarding present, tenderness present, diffuse in nature. Investigation shows me patient was anemic, leukocytosis, thrombocytopenia, KFT shows me AKI that is acute kidney injury. Why? Because there was increase in urea, increase in creat, decrease in sodium and decrease in chlorine. LFT shows me there was increase in bilirubin levels which was really high. It was 6.18 and normalized less than 2. So hyperbilirubinemia. SGOT was, SGOT was increased suggestive of serum transaminitis, hypoalbuminemia, increase in alkaline phosphatase level and we check the levels of serum myelase and serum lipase. If it is two to three times, it suggests us of pancreatitis but in this patient, serum myelase and serum lipase levels were normal so we ruled out pancreatitis. So investigation picture further, there was poor calcitonin levels which we have seen. Uh, it was 44 nanogram per ml and normal lies less than 0.5 nanogram per ml which is highly suggestive of sepsis. Malaria type fit test were negative, dengue deer test was positive. Ultrasound, we got the impression of moderate splenomegaly, mild ascites, mild bilateral pleural fusion, mild free fluid in periapetic perispleaning and pelvic cavities suggestive of polycirrhositis. Chest x-ray was also showing bilateral pleural fusion, urine Input was 1250 ml per 24 hour, but output was 450 ml per 24 hour. So, diagnosis was uh, uh, dengue fever with thrombocytopenia with serum transaminitis with polycytosis. And this patient was in ICU. And why the patient was in ICU? What was the indication for that? Because there was need of mechanical ventilation, and patient itself has come with a chief complaint of the shortness of breath. So, yeah, it was a good case. It was all about fever. I hope you enjoyed listening to the history of the patient. So that's all. Dr. Muskan Mansal is signing off now.